News, blasphemous Mohammed cartoonist Lars Vilks dies in car crash in Sweden. In, on October 3rd, Lars Vilks, a Swedish artist who became controversial in 2007 for drawing the Prophet Muhammad with a dog's body, died in a car accident. According to investigators, the collision also killed two police officers who were escorting Vilks. The 75-year-old artist had been living under police protection ever since his cartoons were made public. The global outrage surrounding his work led the prime minister at the time to meet with representatives from 22 Muslim countries. Not long after the meeting, a $100,000 bounty was put up by Al-Qaeda in Iraq as a reward for his death. Known for his driftwood sculptures installed without permission in the Swedish National Reserve, Vilks was considered a contrarian artist. Vilks claimed that his portrayal of Muhammad was a statement against political correctness in the art world. Police are investigating the crash, but so far, no foul play is suspected. W weren't some Dabwa people who were celebrating his death? Oh, a ton. Daniel Hakikaju oh. was like making all these jokes about it. Uh, the smile to Jana guy was saying like, yeah. He drew the prophet with the dog's body, so he died like a dog, like stuff like that. Um, we should, we should. Do we have any of them ready to highlight? Um, I can pull up uh, that in a few seconds. Um, but I wanted it, to cover this story because um, I don't know. I think it's important to acknowledge the legacy of people who have sacrificed a lot of their privacy and their safety for the sake of making these statements that so millions of people around the world don't feel safe enough or are not safe enough to make. Um, and so for him, it was drawing the prophet with a dog's body. But for him, the way he talked about it was kind of funny. He's like, to me, like, the dog isn't even a negative thing. Like, in Sweden, we love dogs. And what is an art exhibit without a dog? Like, it's a very positive dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so I it's, just, it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, because I was I posted a picture of me with my uh, dog on my personal YouTube channel. And there was these Iranian Muslims commenting, um, or like, it's so great to see that the fate of the mortads, the fate of infidels, is for them to have dogs as companions. As if that was like an insult to me. You're like, oh, this is what you deserve. You 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 get to have dogs. I was like, oh no. <laughs> like, meanwhile, everyone, what a punishment. <laughs> meanwhile, everyone else is like more dogs for me <laughs> <laughs> like, like your uh, loss and like look at you this is where where infidels deserve to be next to dogs they're like wow what <laughs> what <a> <laughs> okay. all right poor me i have a dog <laughs> like, all right did you find any of the uh yes <laughs> one second sure. okay okay yeah, guys, like there were so many Muslims celebrating this and thinking this was a lost justice and a lost punishment. And it's so bizarre because like, so like, I mean, th is there no other way that Allah could have punished him to make it clear? Like, so what what's happening to other people who are drawing Muhammad and are not getting punished by Allah? Like, and what if this is no, wait, let me, let me finish my thought. Bring it back. Um, yeah, I'll bring it back. And the interesting thing is, like, if you think this is a lost punishment, like, this is obviously he's being punished for him drawing Muhammad or whatever. Does that mean, like, the Muslims who are getting dying in car accidents, were they being punished for something equally as bad in your eyes? Like, it's just like none of this makes any sense. But yeah, go on, show, show. Whoops. Um. So Danny Hakikaju posted this that said Muhammad Can you zoom cartoonist. In? It, it's already so big. No, I mean, the caption is not big. I can't. I, it's already huge. Okay. So, it's so he's saying, hey, Lars, I think you might have misunderstood the meaning of drive through. And it shows mm -hmm. a picture of a car that hit a wall that said drive through pharmacy, except right, he right. photoshopped this in. This isn't actually the accident. This isn't what right. happened. 
And um, so and that, said, no, guys, you didn't really you, no, 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 die. No, 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 wait. Let, let, let me go, go back up. So for people who might not know, Daniel Haraju is a, a Islamic apologist. He's a famous YouTuber that defends Islam. And he's famous for celebrating death of or potentially killing people who might be um, mortad or infidels or LGBT. Before you read the first comments, can you click on the 4,400 uh, reactions just to see how many people, like if you click on it, you can see that 2,000 Muslims thought there was, this was funny. All right, but go back. You were reading the Wait, top? Wait, just a second. Oh. Okay, go. Shoot. Um, okay, I'll read the I'll read the live chat while you bring it up. Uh, Ir Irina, is that how you read her name? I, mm -hmm. I, Irina, Irina. You know what's wrong with dogs? Are they suggesting that Muslims don't have dogs as pets? Well, Muslims are not supposed to have dogs as pets. Like you, you really don't know what is the issue with Islam and dogs. Like I said, that was common knowledge. Anyways. Why is StreamYard freaking out right now? Here we go, finally. Yeah. yeah. So he was saying, guys, he didn't really die by driving through a drive through pharmacy. I just thought it'd be some good black comedy and wanted my dear Muslims to have a good laugh about his death. I sure am. Who says Muslims don't have a sense of humor? Wow. Um, any of the top comments by people? Like, in the... You want to read some of the, the, the um, ones that are getting... The a little well, bit higher, just someone cursing him. No, um, read it. Read it at the... When you are cursed by a billion, there is an extremely high probability of Allah accepting it. Hmm. Uh, may Allah forever curse him, burden him with turmoils, constrict him in his grave, and let entire heat of all seven hell descend on him. Wow. Wow. Um, he died in fire, beginning of the rest of his internal life. Wow. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, wait, but there was something else I wanted to bring up. Let me find it. Just to give you guys an idea of what he's been dealing with throughout his life since 2007. Um, there have been multiple attempts on his life. Um, in 2010, two men allegedly tried to burn his house down. And later, uh, a Pennsylvania woman who called herself Jihad Jane um, apparently uh, pled guilty to plotting to m kill him, like conspiracy to murder. Um, and I want to point out something Irina is saying, wasn't it deliberate crash by radical Muslims? Some people were saying that there were people saying that there is nothing that the police have no. reported that ha indicates anything foul. They have... Yeah made that extremely clear um yes, guys, they even said clear. we will investigate but we have no evidence to suggest this at all um the description guys, of the crash kind of confused me but it sounded like a tire exploded and then they went over an intersection and crashed into oncoming traffic i think that's what guys happened. don't if you don't try to suggest and is some something happened just because you want it you want to blame muslims for it okay like, don't, this is like us, our camp of people trying to like hope, it's, it, it comes across as you hoping um, to be finding a way to be able to blame Muslims for something that didn't, didn't happen, okay? Like, just don't, don't give in to rumors unless there's actual reports and evidence about it, right? And, oh, yeah, she's she saying thank you for clarifying. Yeah, Susanna is on it, on it. Um, what was it? I was going to add something else about this. Um, oh, yeah. I was just going to be like, how much of a dedication to expressing, you know, fighting for free speech and expressing your opinions do you have to have for you to go through all that death threat and all those people trying to plot your murder and everything? Um, and then still, and still not give up. And so, like, you know, not give in to the intimidation, right? I mean, the guy was a hero, yeah. Um, so thank you for all his service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's important to highlight um, figures like this and yeah. talk about what they went through because it sets the stage for everyone else, like me. Oh, actually, Soha is pointing out something very 
Interesting. Muhammad died from being poisoned. Omar and Osman's were killed by Muslims. Hussein died and, and beheaded. Are they also being punished by Allah? Yeah, you may, I mean, like, so has, that's a very fair point that hypocrisy. Like, other than Omar was killed. Actually, Omar's death could be, a lot of people consider that, um, you know, karma, because he was killed by a Persian, by a Persian slave, by a Christian Persian slave. In so many ways, this could be, by so many people, this could be seen as like justice catching up on Omar, because first of all, he was a slave, right? You know, he was being enslaved by Muslims. Second of all, he was Christian, and Christians were being mistreated by Muslims. And third of all, he was Persians, and Omar was responsible for invading Persia and conquering and killing Persians. So in so many different ways, this could have been like, oh, he's just is coming back at you, right? So was that was he being punished for his crimes, right? Um, Muhammad, when Muhammad was poisoned, it wasn't the poison originally didn't kill him right away, but his body was weakened and it's suspected that eventually when he died, it was that the effects of that poison catching up on him, right? Um, Osman was also, like this guy like, died in a car accident. Like nobody like came, like there's no one-on-one -on -one correlation between what he did and his death. And yet these people are speculating like, oh, Allah made him punish you. But Osman as well, Osman who like is the third Khalifa's Muslims, his death is directly correlated to his mismanagement of people uh, of his the, the his ruling right like people were upset and considered his ruling to be unjust and they came and kill him so again if you want to like be like oh this is justice and karma getting back at you i mean muslims would not say karma but you know what i mean uh osman would be more justified hossein i guess i don't know i'm not going to get into the whole sunni shia divide but hossein you could also blame hossein hossein armin took <laughs> Hossein took okay. I'm just gonna quickly say just to piss some people off. Okay, Hossein took women and children into a war that he allegedly knew he's gonna lose. He killed the women and children that were with him. So Hossein was Hossein was a murderer of women and children. Okay, so there's that. Um, I know Susanna. I know you're a Shia, and that triggers you. So this is why you're. Upset. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, no, I know I was, this is triggering for you, but go on. I was going to say that your video was very choppy right now. Okay, but was my audio made sense? Yes. Was it, okay, okay, that's all that matters. Okay, you're just using it as an excuse to interrupt me as soon as, as soon as, guys, is, is this a coincidence? As soon as I started talking about Hussein, she was like, Armin. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. It's about my video being choppy. Sure, sure, Susie. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.